uh, so most of my career, uh, I've only used one type of capacitor, really. Well, two types. Uh, you know, ceramic capacitors and uh, uh, electrolytics, right? So typical bypassing type stuff for digital circuits. Um, now, for some analog circuits, you need fancier capacitors. Um, so I've used uh, mica capacitors in the, in the past. Um, but recently with these uh, audio circuits, you know, these, these are the capacitors of, of choice here. So this is, this is a ceramic one. But these are uh, metal film capacitors. And uh, these two are both the same. Uh, they're both 100 nanofarads. So, oops, can you see that? So one's a little, uh, one's kind of a dipped one, and one's in this little plastic, plastic package that's then filled up from the back. Uh, so they're they're different. Um, so these these ceramic ones are just layers of metal and ceramic and metal and ceramic, and I've I've looked at those before. Uh, these supposedly are, are layers of metal and plastic, and metal and plastic, and metal and plastic. So, so type, some type of poly, polypropylene, uh, polyester, polyethylene, polypropylene. I believe these are polypropylene. Um, I, I think these are both the same. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I, I, I just don't know. I just know that... Um, these seem to be the ones of choice. These little square ones, they seem to be the one that audiophiles seem to like. Um, but it seems, I don't know, that these would be just as good, but, but I'm not quite sure. So anyway, um, what I was really interested in is what the construction of these things are. Um, so I decided to sacrifice some and grind off the tops and see if I could see what was inside. All right, so I did that. Let me... Show you what I did here. Let me uh, let me focus on this. And uh, so I've got. Uh, oops. Maybe I can put these right by them. That that one is that one, and that one is that one, and that one is that one. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, so I took them over to the belt sander and I sanded off the tops. And now I can see inside, and uh, let's take it over the microscope and see if we see what we can see. Okay, uh, here they are under the microscope, and uh, they are they are different inside. Uh, so first thing is that uh, this hundred nanofarad and this hundred nanofarad, uh, this one is like twice as thick. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, I can only imagine that the material that's used to make the layers here are thinner. And so this one requires twice as many layers to get the same job done. And when I cut these apart, I noticed... Well, so first of all, I used the um, uh, belt sander, and then I tried to sand them smoother with some uh, diamond abrasive. and. Um, that wasn't working too good, and because it's uh, they're plasticky, they they smear, and uh, so I used um, I used an exacto blade and tried to uh, shave them, which worked a little better. But um, so the red one is much softer, so it's it's it, it, you you can dig a blade right into it. It feels just like plastic through and through. This one seems a little stiffer. Um, it does feel somewhat soft, but it is stiffer. And then this one feels like ceramic, so it does feel it does feel hard. Um, but let's see if we can't uh, can't get it in any closer. All right, this is about as close as I get, and uh, you can't really see the layers. The, the 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 thing that looks maybe like layers are just m me sanding or me me scraping, just uh, causing grooves and uh, grooves in the plastic, but really can't see the layers. Uh, you can see the metal. There's a metal on that side and metal on that side. So you can imagine there's a whole bunch of kind of a comb, uh, uh, you know, a right-facing comb and a left-facing comb, and they interleave in the middle somewhere. So I'm sure that's what's going on. And then this one, let me see if I can focus better on that one. So this one, again, you really can't 
see the layers you, you can start to see some some bits of metal so you can kind of see some shiny bits of metal through and through um, but again this one looks like it's two capacitors put back to back there's a big metal plane in the center of these things and it looks like there's one capacitor that way and one capacitor that way and so that's interesting but again you can't see the individual layers um, now here in the um, in the ceramic one, you can see the individual layers. So I have looked at uh, ceramic capacitors before, and you can see the layers on these things. So uh, you can you can imagine the other ones are made just like this one, but uh, thinner. The the little uh, dielectric layers are thinner than these ceramic layers. Anyway, it's kind of cool. I. Uh, I always enjoy opening up things and looking at them and seeing how things work. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to know how everything worked. <laughs>